From the celebrity capital of the world, it's Hollywood Squares, starring the return of Madam, Donna Summer, Stone Cold Steve Austin, comedian Lonnie Love, Mario Lopez, Kathy Griffin, Joey McIntyre, Daisy Fuentes, and our center square, Martin Moe. We Hollywood Squares, where Kelly Falbo has already decided to join us later in the season in the Tournament of Champions. She defended her championship at the end of yesterday's show so well, we've got her back one more time for the bonus round. You ready? I'm ready. Martin, stars, you ready? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready, honey. It's Let's unanimous. Talk. Up to now, we found out a little bit about what the stars know. Actually, we did yesterday. Here's where we find out how much you know about them. All right, Kelly, look over here at these nine keys. One of them opens this safe, and as you remember from yesterday, in it is $25,000 in cash. You pick a square, I read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we take away one of the non-functioning keys, improving your chances of opening the safe and getting it the cash. 30 seconds on the clock for our champ. It starts ticking when you pick your first star. Kathy. Was the 1997 LA Times face to watch? Disagree. Wrong. Next. Mario. Starred in the special Big Boys Don't Cry. Agree. Right. Next. Lonnie. Appeared as herself in the series I Love the 70s. Agree. Right. Next. Donna. Was in the German production of Hair. Agree. Right. Next. Martin. Has a prosthetic toe due to a football injury. Disagree. Right. Next. Daisy. Bought her father a Corvette convertible. Agree. Right. Next. Stone Cold. First wrestled under the name Steve Williams. Agree. Right. Next. Joey. Has not eaten meat for nine years. Disagree. Right. Next. Madame. Was once sought in half by the amazing Leopold. Agree. Right. Oh! <laughs> taken all the dramatic tension out of the show. <laughs> let's, uh, let's clear them all except for the good one. None of them work. Go oh, home now. No. I think it's this one. Go for it, Kelly. Baby's got a brand new room. Open! <laughs> over here as well. Unfortunately, to get a new safe for the show, it's going to run you 25 grand. Uh, congratulations. Oh, we will see you again later in the season, our Tournament of Champions. You'll be great with child by yes. then, yes. right? Let's add it up. You take with you from your stint here, 112,400. Oh, He's a travel writer from Wichita, Kansas. Here comes Chris Pimentel. A dance teacher from Encino, California. Here comes Jennifer Preston. Hello, Chris. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome to our little tic-tac-toe fest. Good to have you both here. Best two out of three uh, games. That's how we play these matches, the $1,000 games. Who won the coin toss backstage? I did. All right, Chris, you kick it off. I'll go with Martin Mull. Martin Mull. All right, Martin. <laughs> Does whiskey get better with age like wine once it's been bottled? Well, I can tell you age gets better with whiskey. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Does whiskey get better with age? Um, no. No. 
I agree. No, it doesn't. It's aged in barrels. Once it's bottled, it does not improve. You're right. X gets the oh, square God. there. Ah. Jennifer? I'll take Mario Lopez. Mario Lopez, host of Animal Planet's Pet Star. Check your local cable listings. Mario, why did the British stop the tradition of wrapping fish and chips in newspaper? The British, I think, are very environmental. So I believe they probably wanted to recycle the newspaper. You can't have it with some funky smelling fish in there. So they wanted the newspapers to be sure. recycled. OK. I disagree. No, it's the ink is unhealthy. The greasy food absorbed the ink is why they oh, did it. Circle gets it. Good luck, though, Chris. I'll go with Stone Cold. Stone Cold Woo! Steve Austin, WrestleMania 20 from Madison Square Garden in March on pay-per-view. All right, Steve, for years, the CIA had a group they called the Health Alteration Committee. What were their specific jobs? Actually, what those guys were, they would plan a diet, and uh, basically they're fitness instructors okay. for the president. All right. I'll disagree. No, they were assassins. Health <laughs> Alteration <laughs> Committee. X. <laughs> Guess the square. All right, we're going to try to sell you some stuff, then we'll be back with more Hollywood Squares with our two new contestants right after this. Departed champion Kelly is talking to financial consultants backstage. Our two new contestants are in the first game of a best two out of three match. And Jennifer, I believe it was your turn. I'll go with Lonnie Love for the block. Lonnie Love, featured on Comedy Central's Premium Blend, Friday, January 2nd. Lonnie, what did VH1 name as the greatest song of the past 25 years? I wonder what the odds were for Achy Breaky Heart. <laughs> Um, okay, Jennifer, listen, I think, because I saw this, I think it was Beat It by Michael Jackson. That's it. I will agree. No. Smells oh. Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana oh, wow. is what it was. Can't give you that one, Oops. Chris. You have to earn it yourself. I'll go to Lonnie Love for the win, please. For the win at $1,000. <laughs> Lonnie, what did the Pied Piper do after the townspeople refused to pay him for cleaning the town of rats? Can I get an African-American question, please? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> um, he brought the rats back. I disagree. No, he took away the children, is what he did. X gets the square and the win. Four thousand dollars. We'll go right into another thousand dollar game. This one has a secret square. Let's find out what's in the secret square stash. Ready, set, relax. It's a Southwestern spa vacation. You and a guest will spend five luxurious days at the spectacular Enchantment Resort in Sedona, Arizona. Enjoy junior suite accommodations with panoramic views of the majestic Red Rock Canyons, plus fine dining at Yavapai, a relaxing treatment at Miyamo Destination Spa, and activities for any interest. Enchantment Resort, experience the extraordinary. All right, thank you, John. Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. Ah, uh, Chris, you won the first game. You get to start this one. Uh, I'll take Martin Mull. All right, Martin. <laughs> Newsweek says that in 2002, a surprising 11% of them got new toothbrushes. Who are they? The Oak Ridge Boys. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. Uh, it's the Taliban. Again, I'm kidding. Uh, new toothbrushes. Yeah. <laughs> The LPGA? <laughs> Again, I jest. Um, actually, 11% got new toothbrushes. Weren't those the lovely parting gifts we used to give away on the old Hollywood Squares? <laughs> I've still got mine. Yeah. I believe, until it got too pricey? Yeah. Um, nothing makes you light up like getting a new toothbrush, does it? Maybe it's just me. So the answer is yes. <laughs> Well, well, who are they, the 11 <laughs> Oh, the percent. Uh, they were the prisoners at Folsom. All right. I disagree. They, they were dogs. <laughs> doggy. Oh. X gets that one. Jennifer. Oh, God. I'll go with Joey McIntyre. Joey McIntyre starring in uh, Tony and Tina's Wedding, upcoming feature. 
Joey, if, if you're both most likely to get married and most likely to get divorced, what state are you in? I think it's a state where you can do it both really fast. And I, I think that would be uh, Nevada. I will agree. It is Nevada. Yes, it is. Circle gets the square. We get a great to we'll continue with this secret square game right after this. Stick around. I'll go with Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love. All right, Lonnie. Yeah. <laughs> a national publication says these pesky creatures are often attracted to people with smelly hands and feet. What creatures are they? Women who date Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mickey Rourke. Women who date Mickey Rourke. <laughs> no, I was looking at National Geographic. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. I disagree. Mosquitoes. Oh. Mosquitoes. Yeah, X gets the square. Very nice. Jennifer. I'll go with Stone Cold Steve Austin for the block. Oh, secret square. Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, Steve, we have a little help on the screen here. A picture of Paul Newman seen in one of his 10 Oscar-nominated roles. Is it from Absence of Malice, The Color of Money, or The Verdict? Mm. Clearly, that's from Absence of Malice. I will disagree. It's Absence of Malice. Oh. Yes, it is. All right, can't give you that one, Chris. If you get it, you will become the new champion. I'm going with Stone Cold Steve Austin for the win. All right, for the win and the championship. <laughs> World Book says under Roman law, which was not punishable by death, embezzlement, treason, murder, or forgery? Embezzlement. I disagree. Murder was not oh. punishable by death. X gets the square and the win. Jennifer Preston. Pleasure meeting you. We'll give you some lovely parting gifts. Thanks for being Thank with us you. at Hollywood Square. Stay here for just a second. But Chris, you are our new champion. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You ready to play the bonus round? I'm ready. All right, we shall do that. Up to now, we found out a bit about what the stars know. Here's where we want to find out how much you know about them. All right, Chris, take a look over here at these nine keys. One of them will open our blushing red trunk. And what do we have in there, John? Don't forget your snorkel for your Caribbean dive cruise adventure. You and a guest will eat, sleep, and die for seven days aboard the Turks and Caicos Aggressor 2 20-passenger dive yacht. Experience an unforgettable week of diving and relaxation from Aggressor Fleet, the ultimate in liveaboards. It's a trip of a lifetime. All right, Chris, we went through all the rules at the top of the show. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock for you. It starts ticking when you pick your first star. Kathy. Kathy recorded a children's album called The Rusty Tr Trombone Lady. Disagree. Right, next. Mario. Produced a film in which he plays a courier. Disagree. Wrong, next. Lonnie. Has a brother, Ronnie, who's Chinese. Disagree. Right, next. Donna. Made a living working in a meatpacking plant. Agree. Right, next. Martin. Had to be rescued from the Casbah in Morocco because he was lost. Disagree. Wrong, next. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy sings backup vocals on Shakira's latest album. Agree. Wrong, next. Stone Cold. First wrestled as stunning Steve Austin. Agree. Wrong, next. Joey. Once accidentally broke Donnie Wahlberg's leg. Disagree. Right, next. Uh, Madam. Start of the TV. Uh, out of time. Not bad. Let's go count some keys here, Chris. We got four correct answers. Let's take away four of the bad keys. All right, Chris, one of those five will send you on a trip. Here's to the Caribbean. All right, good luck. Over here, Chris, let's take a look at this right over here. If you wouldn't, we'll take a look at which key would have uh, sent you back. And right over here. All right. But we'll give you $500 for every correct answer. So far as champion, you've got $4,000. And bad. we'll meet Chris's new challenger when we come back right after this. Stick around. champion facing a new challenger in the circle position. Please welcome Wendy Hammond. Hello, Wendy. Hi, how are good you? Good I'm good. Tell us about yourself, Wendy. Well, I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and now I'm a nanny for two very lovely little girls, Rowan and Michaela. And every year I walk in the MS walk for my mom and uh, have a good time doing that. Great. Good cause as well. Good to have you with us, Wendy.
You know the drill, it's your best two out of three game match, and the challenger always begins the tic-tac-toe fest, so go ahead. Martin Mall, please. Martin, okay. <laughs> NPR, NPR reports that because it was considered capitalistic, what game was banned in Russia, China, Cuba, and North Korea? I'm trying to picture North Koreans playing Candyland. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's just not coming clear. So I want to say Candyland, but it's got to be your basic monopoly. I disagree. It is Monopoly. Oh, yeah. Yes, X uh, gets the square. Oh, Bring it to Chris. I'll go with Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love. All right, Lonnie, here we go. Lonnie, who would you go to if you needed help with your diphthong? <laughs> My mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, my doctor. I disagree. Uh, you go to a speech teacher or a linguist. A diphthong <laughs> is a speech <laughs> sound. X gets that one. Wendy. Stone Cold Steve Austin for the Black All Queen. right, Stone Cold Steve Austin. What is the oldest continuing sporting event in the U.S.? It's the Kentucky Derby. I agree. It has never missed a year since 1875, oh. the Kentucky Derby. That's right. Circle gets the block. Chris. I'll go with Mario Lopez. Mario Lopez. All right, from Pet Star Animal Planet show. According to experts in USA Today, does using premium gas really make a big difference to your car? I'm going to say no. I agree. Yeah, according to USA Today, no. Doesn't make a big difference at I all. Actually, get that square. Yeah. Wendy. <laughs> Kathy Griffin for All the right, Kathy, appearing every Wednesday night at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. A Texas congresswoman is angry because there are, these are never given African-American names like Kaisha. What are they? Women who make it past the second round of The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, you have, that is the limit. You have really gone beyond the pale now. Um... I, I think I know this. I think it's hurricanes. I agree. It is hurricanes. Yes. Uh, circle oh. gets blocked. Chris. I'm going to Joey McIntyre for the win. Joey for the win. His CD, One Too Many, is in stores now. Joey, little Johnny Green put pussy in, and little Tommy Stout took pussy out. Where was pussy? <laughs> to this one, I'm not dating you again. <laughs> I believe it, it had it had something to do, like, I, I, I would think this this would be a, a kitten. I, I would hope. You think? Yeah. And, uh, and it, it a, a blueberry pie. All right. I disagree. No, pussy was in the well. In the well, X gets the square. And, and the win. Out of time. When we come back tomorrow, we'll play a secret square game that could mean Chris will retain his championship. Wendy might, you know, get the challenge. It, all kinds of things could happen, but Tic Tac Toe will be involved. I'm Tom Bergeron on behalf of all our stars. Join us for that, won't you, tomorrow on Hollywood Square. Bye bye. Watch us lay the smackdown on the next Hollywood Squares. Come on, we should tour together, seriously. Let's, Let's go on it. the road. Have you ever started getting wrestling? I'll be your man.